Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So our current air temperature outside coming in at a mild 57 degrees. We have a dew point coming in at 55. So we are looking at a potential setup for some patchy fog around with temperature and dew point exactly the same and fairly starry skies out there. You may notice some of that fog come up on you pretty quickly or you may not notice it at all because of its patchy nature. In any event, Allow in your back of the mind the possibility that you could come up on some of that vision limiting fog as you commute, particularly from inland areas toward the coast. Northeast wind coming in pretty light right now. A lot of starry skies leading to a beautiful sunny day today, I think. 58 in Wachula, 59 in Arcadia, 58 in Mayaka, 57 in Parrish, Bradenton, the same Sarasota, ditto. Longbow Key comes in at 60, Lakewood Ranch at 58, 60 in Venice, and Inglewood and 59 degrees in Northport. Generally today, we'll be starting out with winds that are offshore, but as we progress through the afternoon, those winds will become more onshore with a localized bit of a sea breeze out of the southwest. Also shifting high pressure ridge will accommodate some of that wind shift as well. We're looking at the uh, Moat Marine Spotter's latest observations, and we do have some increase in red tide over the course of the last 24 hours. Uh, Siesta Keys, not too bad. Manatee, the same. Gasparilla, okay. Other beaches do have some irritants in the air. But again, these shift with the winds and tides, and consequently, um, you get the latest information before you head to the beaches. We are looking at uh, a little bit of cloud cover at time, but this is high, thin clouds, not rain-producing clouds. We won't see any rainfall today. The cloud cover will give way to more sunshine as well as soon as we mix the atmosphere a little bit. This tan color in the water vapor imagery for mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, that's the really dry air. That's the stuff that gives you those deep blue skies that we have seen yesterday and are going to see again, I think, this afternoon. Now, eventually, that driest of air will be uh, moving on and we'll start to add a little bit more moisture into the atmosphere over the next 24 hours, leading to a few more clouds around tomorrow afternoon, I think. Still, I don't see much in the way of a rainfall chance today or tomorrow, but on Wednesday, different story, an area of low pressure back to the west and its cold front will gradually drift to the east toward the west coast of the state of Florida from Gulf waters. It's going to trigger off, I think, some pretty good storms right now in the open plains down through Texas, especially coastal Texas. Dallas, Houston, Fort Worth all have a chance of seeing some pretty good storms around today. That could lead to some airport delays if you're traveling in that direction. And then tomorrow, I think it'll be bearing down on the Louisiana Delta region. New Orleans could have an airport delay as well. And then on Wednesday, we'll watch as a little area of low pressure develops on the tail end of that front and advances toward the state of Florida. If it heads south, dives south, we'll probably get a little bit more rainfall. If it stays further to the north, probably get a little less rainfall. So we'll be fine-tuning and monitoring the forecast over the course of the next day and a half and let you know what, uh, what progresses. But I think we definitely will get some rainfall as we head into Wednesday, especially the second half of Wednesday. But for today, lots of sunshine, a warm afternoon in near 80, and then those midweek rains probably in the vicinity of a quarter inch to a half an inch of rain a little later in the afternoon on Wednesday. Right now, dry as a bone across the state, and so will it stay all day long. Nice day for boating. An east wind, northeast wind, eventually an east wind again at about 5 to 10, bringing a light chop. And the forecast calls for warm temperatures, midweek rain, and then nice conditions right straight into the weekend.